मल्टी वोल्टेज डिजाइन सेव्स पावर हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम टू अनदर वीडियो ऑन द चैनल की कॉर्नर द टॉपिक फॉर डिस्कशन टुडे वुड बी ऑन द रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ अ डिजाइन टू हैव मल्टीपल वोल्टेजेस कांट वी हैव अ सिंगल सप्लायर इल ड्राइविंग ऑल द लॉजिक एंड मेक अ लाइफ सिंपलर बिकॉज लेट्स फेस इट मल्टीपल सप्लाईज मीन्स इनक्रीज कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी बट बिफोर वी मूव इन टू डिटेल्स अबाउट अ मल्टी वोल्टेज डिजाइन डू कीप इन माइंड दैट डायनेमिक पावर इज डायरेक्टली प्रपोर्शनल टू वोल्टेज स्क्वाड सो स्मॉल चेंज इन वोल्टेज लेवल्स can hugely impact a design over time now imagine a scenario where laptop battery lasts merely 1 hour or a mobile phone lasting only 30 minutes of usage doesn't sound good right this is exactly what would have happened if we had been confined to a single supply for all the logic because then we would have to go with the highest supply needed for a design which would lead to unwanted power consumption to solve this problem people thought of multiple voltage where each set of logic would be supplied with the bare minimum to operate now let's try to understand the two popular ways of having multi voltage design suppose we have a chip which has four compartments each having its own supply v1 v2 v3 and v4 considering only v1 and v2 we see that there is a voltage level difference parts of chip needing higher voltage would be kept in v1 and the parts which can make do with lower voltage would be kept in v2 so instead of having 4 volt supply driving all the logic we have separated into 4 volt supply region and 3 volt supply region thus saving part of the power this is one way of dividing logic now let's consider only v3 and v4 peak voltage for these regions is 2 volt but if we vary the time for which v4 is on RMS voltage value would come down from 2 volt for V4 since RMS value has reduced power consumption will be less accordingly this method is used for logic which operates only for some amount of time such logic can be kept in V4 and the logic which remains on all the time can be kept in V3 since V4 is not active all the time we are saving part of the power compared to the scenario where everything would be on for all of the time the switching on and off of the region v4 is taken care by a gating element which takes v3 power supply as input and drives v4 when to turn off is decided by the switching signal applied to gating element this is the second popular method of saving power using multiple voltage any possible design can use either one or both of these methods communication between these regions is a complex task and requires specially designed cells let's explore those in next video if this video helped do leave a like and subscribe the channel thank you